okay so uh, in this part we will study uh, we will study about drift velocity okay in the last part we studied that what is drift velocity what is relaxation time and what is uh, mean free path right about all these things we studied so let us find out the formula for drift velocity okay you all know that v is equals to u plus at with the help of first equation we can write now if like this we can write we can write for their mean also we can write for their mean also there were n number of electrons we have taken then their average will be written in this way right now this v is final velocity final velocity means final velocity final velocity means velocity after we applied electric field and this velocity initial velocity means velocity before applied electric field before electric field the electrons were moving due to thermal energy and the average of all the thermal velocities what we got equal to zero we got it equal to zero that we will be writing here uh, before that you see this the average of all the velocities after applying electric field so after applying electric field we studied that all the electrons will be moving with constant average velocity and that was known as vd so in place of this average i will write vd and this average of thermal velocities will be equal to 0 1 upon and I will write here this A. What is this A? A will be equals to E E upon M. How we have written this E upon M? Wait a minute. After that, what we got? T. Okay. Now, uh, VD is equal to 1 upon N summation. Okay. Before writing this summation or before writing this 1 upon N, let us write what all things are constant. E is constant, electric field is constant, M is constant. Now you put 1 upon M and in summation what we can write? T. Now what is this T? This T was relaxation time. And if this T was relaxation time, 1 upon N sigma T will be mean relaxation time. Mean relaxation time was denoted by tau. Then the formula of vd will be equal to e e tau upon m this will be the formula of drift velocity now come back few steps and let us see how we have written a is equals to e e upon m you remember there was a conductor in that conductor we considered electron which was moving away uh, which is which was moving opposite to electric field right that electric field will be applying some force on this electron what will be that force qe and this electron due to this force was accelerated we know when uh, uh, due to force any particle is accelerated then force is given by ma f is equals to ma so if f will be equal to ma f will be equal to qe then they will be equal to each other also in place of q i put e which is magnitude of electron so e e is equals to ma and from here a will be equals to e e upon m this is the acceleration which electric field applies on all the electrons right so we put this uh, this these this all thing in place of a we substituted a with this expression and ultimately we got the formula of vd now after looking this formula you just see what are all those factors on which vd depends vd depends on e no small e is constant capital e also constant constant potential difference was applied tau on tau it depends and no other factor is there velocity drift velocity depends on relaxation time 
and more factors we will study in future if there will be any other formula so come back to our exercise you can see here uh, you can see here acceleration here they have taken minus sign because they are writing in vector form here they use this first form of equation uh, first equation of motion and then ultimately they got the same formula only the difference is you can see one minus sign this minus sign we have not taken because we followed a scalar form and the book one they are following a vector form this minus sign is only showing that the velocity of drift uh, that the direction of drift velocity and the electric field these will be in opposite direction and it is uh, uh, very clear also you have seen electric field was in this direction sorry electric field was in this direction and the electrons were moving like this with drift velocity you see these both are opposite to each other that's why the minus sign is coming by the way if you want to write in vector form you can write like this vd is equals to minus ee vector tau upon m this is the vector form no issues after this let us see what is next topic now uh, can you see this paragraph this whole paragraph has one derivation and that derivation is also very important that derivation gives us a relationship that derivation gives us a relationship and that relationship is between electric current and drift velocity drift velocity now how will we find out that relationship for that i have to make conductor once again suppose this was the conductor right and here i made one cross section between this conductor i made i marked one cross section like this now if the electrons are moving this side with a drift velocity vd then tell me that this cross section this cross section will be passed by how many electrons how many electrons will pass this area of cross section in time delta t then what will you say you will say that those electrons which are vd delta t at a distance vd delta t away from this uh, uh, away from this uh, area of cross section who will be lying in this boundary those all electrons will pass through this area of cross section i will ask why why all these electrons only now you see that if these electrons are moving in this particular direction then all those electrons all those electrons which are at a distance vd delta t at a distance vd delta t away all those will be passing this area of cross section it is very simple to understand now why this will be the distance because distance formula is speed into time or velocity into time velocity is vd and in how much time we are asking delta t that's why vd delta t okay now after this suppose we considered that n is the number of electrons per unit volume this is the number of electrons per unit volume in unit volume these are the number of electrons okay you know that if a will be the area of cross section of this conductor this is the length this is where is length this is the length okay and this is area of cross section after multiplying area and cross section area of cross section and length you got volume then what will be the volume of this part this part in which electrons are present which will pass this area of cross section in time delta t what is that volume that volume will be a vd delta t and if this is the volume how many electrons will be there number of electrons suppose equal to n 
स्मॉल एन वॉज द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम इफ इन यूनिट वॉल्यूम स्मॉल एन वॉज नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन देन दिस इन दिस वॉल्यूम हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी देयर एन इन टू ए वी डी डेल्टा टी वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दैम एंड वी विल गेट टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इफ दिस इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन देन वट विल बी चार्ज वट विल बी द टोटल चार्ज विच विल पास थ्रू टोटल चार्ज विल बी क्यू इज इक्वल टू एन ई एन इज एन ए वी डी डेल्टा टी एंड देन ई विल कम ओके दिस यू कैन से स्मॉल चार्ज और चेंज इन चार्ज बिकॉज वी हैव टेकन चेंज इन टाइम सो इफ दिस इज चेंज इन चार्ज देन चेंज इन चार्ज अपॉन चेंज इन टाइम दैट मीन्स दिस डेल्टा टी आई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइड एंड आफ्टर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाइंग आई कैन राइट एन ए वी डी ई डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन डेल्टा टी आई नो इट इज इक्वल्स टू आई इलेक्ट्रिक करंट so i will be equals to n a v d e this is the relationship this is the relationship here okay now where will you have this formula here you can see if you will cancel delta t on both sides then you will get the same relationship okay so after this now what this uh what all these steps you can see of of what these steps are these steps are to find out drift velocity how can we find out drift velocity look here what you can see in place of vd we made one substitution in case of vd in place of vd we made a one substitution and after that we used current density right so look what we can do we have i is equals to n a v d e okay n a v d e v d the substitution of v d will be done here it was e e upon m into to after that e now i upon a a i cross multiplied so what will come here n small e into small e e square capital e to upon m okay i upon a i upon a will be equal to j current density n e square uh, now what i can write here n e square to i can write here upon m and then i can write e okay children this led be equation number 1 now j is equals to sigma e this is ohm's law in vector form if you will compare these two equations you can say sigma is equals to n e square to upon m and also you can say that resistivity will be which is reciprocal of conductivity resistivity will be m upon n e square to this is the formula of resistivity original formula of resistivity you can say okay so here we can say the with the help of this formula we can say resistivity depends on number of free electrons per unit volume resistivity depends on relaxation time these are the factors on which resistivity of any conductor depends done after this next topic let us see what is our next topic next topic is there is one question question we will do afterwards next topic is mobility okay mobility what is mobility mobility children by mobility you can say that how easily how easily electron can flow in any conductor in any conductor how easily an electron is able to flow that represents its mobility mobility means mobile mobile means free to move but this is not the exact definition this is physical meaning only 
so how will we define it mobility is denoted by mu and it is defined as the ratio of drift velocity to the electric field ratio of drift velocity to the electric field you can see here this is the formula okay mu is equal to vd upon e now if you will substitute the value of vd value of vd which is e e upon m into tau and in upon you have e e is cancelled by e formula becomes e tau upon m so now you can see very easily that the factors on which mobility depends is uh, what are those factors one is relaxation time and relaxation time only because e and m these both things are constant so this was mobility okay one more thing what will be its unit its unit will be velocity has meter per second and uh, uh, electric field has volt per meter electric field has a volt per meter solve it you will get the si unit of drift velocity sorry not drift velocity mobility after this what is our next topic our next topic is limitation limitation of ohm's law okay limitation of ohm's law this will be our last topic today limitation what are limitations of ohm's law beta ohm's law we can not apply in case of semiconductors in case of semiconductors we can not apply ohm's law and this limitation we uh, converted we not we ncrt converted into three points what are those three points see here v ceases to be proportional to i that means v not proportional to i one is this correct in semiconductors this rule is not followed that v remains proportional to i like we studied in case of conductors okay after that the next is relationship between v and i depends on the sign of v depends on the sign of v means <coughs> suppose this is current this is voltage this is negative voltage and this is negative current suppose for any semiconductor if this type of graph we are getting for positive voltage and positive current then this type of graph same type of graph we will not get when the polarities are changed a different graph we will get we will obtain like this you can see here the graph given on the left side right so it depends on the sign it depends on the sign of v what type of relationship you have between v and i it depends on the sign of v whether it is negative or it is positive this was the second limitation after this third and the last limitation third and the last limitation is the relation the relation between v and i is not unique unique means there is more than one value of v for the same current for same current for same current more values of v more values of v we will have for same value of current but it is not possible in conductors it is possible only in semiconductors how see this is a graph given for gallium arsenide in this graph you can see for same value of i you will have different values of voltage correct also you can see here negative reason is shown negative resistance reason negative resistance reason is shown because the graph between v and i is going in downward direction while we see that graph goes in upward direction that's why negative resistance and one place you will see non ohmic here here you will see non ohmic part why you can see non ohmic part non ohmic or non linear 
because here the graph is not a straight line that's why okay this graph is also very important so these were the limitations of ohm's law and uh, here only we will finish our video because your next class will be about to begin so